All right, it is. All right, today's March 13th. It is 41 degrees. We're having a bit of a warm up and it's gonna get a little bit warmer in the next two days, but it's gonna be raining. So I'm not gonna have a chance to go and look at these hives, but I wanna check today on the stores. The silver maple is budding up there. It looks like it might be opening up in the next week or so, maybe. That means we're gonna start having a natural pollen source. Um, I have not yet put pollen on these hives because it's been very cold here and uh, I just haven't been able to get in there. But today is the warmest day we've had in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna go in there, check stores, and add food if it looks like anyone needs food. Ton of bees. Back in. All right, I just had a whole bunch of bees bubble up out of the hive, but uh, I got my smoker and they went right back down. We're back in business here. There's a ton of sugar still in that hive. Hive. All right, something's off about this hive. I don't see any activity up top. A little worried. Yep. This does not look good. They were vibrant a month ago. They didn't run out of food. We lost one. We're down one hive. All right, this is our, what was our double queen last fall. Oh yeah. Plenty of activity in there. Okay, Frank and Nuke. Alive and well. Thumbs up. These three are good. Okay, this is a carniolan hive. You can feel heat. You can just feel the heat coming up. New package. All good. All right, this is Balboa, who I was worried about like a month and a half ago when I opened the hive, they were Cluster looked pretty small. So I'm, I'm concerned about Balboa. Oh, we got bees. It's not, they're not clustered right up at the vent like all the other hives are. They're, they're clustered over here like they were a month and a half ago. They're over in the side. I think they're, I think they're kind of small cluster. So that's that, but they are alive. Russians. Just like always, right at the top. This was a walkaway split from new package. Kind of small last time, but they're clustered right at the top of the inner cover where I have those screens there. So all good. All right, after I opened up that first hive, I was not comfortable opening up all the hives to look underneath to see stores. I could see stores in a lot of them through the inner cover, but uh, I just didn't want to open them all up. The, the sun went behind the clouds and right when I got up here, the temperature dropped. So I'm not comfortable, uh, you know, letting them all out in, in this weather. We are gonna have some warm days coming up, but they're gonna be rainy and then we're dipping way back down cold again for the next week or so. So I just want to get in there do a wellness check, and we learned that we lost one. The uh, the nuke that I got last July, 
it never really was vibrant. I didn't really get a chance to look in there. I didn't take anything out to inspect and see what happened. I'll do an autopsy on that when things warm up. But uh, yeah, it was a it was kind of a weak hive going into the fall, and it was only one box, and they never built up. I mean, that was like a four five frame nuke that didn't get beyond eight frames in three months. So just kind of a kind of a weak hive. Um, we did our best. 11 hives are still alive. So March is the, the toughest month for bees. They, they've gotten through the entire winter. The days are getting warm. They're, they want to get out and fly. But as you can see, we've got no real food sources here for another several weeks. And this is when their food is running low and the hive is, is you know, getting a little stressed out. They're, they want to fly, they want to get out, they want to, you know, go forage, and there's just nothing out there. So, you know, it's a tough month. So I'll be back in a week or so, and I'll open these up again. Hopefully we have a day in the 50s Fahrenheit or so. We can get in there and really look at the food, and I'm going to start putting pollen on the hives. And by then, we should have a few trees starting to open up. So there will be natural pollen right over there for the bees to go forage. So that's the update. Thanks for watching.